Well, good morning, everybody. Happy getting there in the middle of the week kind of Wednesday. Out here with the horses and out here it's kind of muggy but quiet and always peaceful. Always a great way to start my day. Yeah, yeah, come here, Dad. You can have some more. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Well, um, come here, Maisie. Come on, girl. Come on. Right here. Okay, well, today my thought is on <clears throat> keeping yourself honest. Um, you know, um, <laughs> how easy is it for us to convince ourselves of lies? flat out lies. Uh, we convince ourselves that we just frankly aren't worth it. That we just simply aren't good enough. That we don't have what it takes to make our dreams come true or succeed at whatever ambition we may have. We lie to ourselves because we listen to crap people tell us uh, that tear down our character about ourselves and how we feel about ourselves. Makes us second guess our, our values. Uh, and we need to keep ourselves honest. We need to keep ourselves honest with ourselves of like, why are we allowing these self sabotaging? concepts, thoughts, um, opinions, or whatever else it may be, whether they're from other people or even that we allow or, or frankly from ourselves because we don't have uh, enough self-confidence, why do we allow that stuff? <clears throat> We've got to keep ourselves honest of our intentions. We've got to keep ourselves honest of our ambitions and where we hope to go with what we're doing, whatever it is, personal, professional, uh, group endeavor with p other people involved or not and so we've got to keep ourselves honest of why we're, want we're doing the things we're doing or why we are hoping to have the intentions uh, to get things accomplished in the places and areas of our lives that we will want to and we got to quit listening to those lies We've got to quit listening to all the BS uh, that other people do. Maybe it's because they're jealous. Maybe it's because um, they want something that we have. Or maybe it's because they just frankly would rather tear us down than be on our sidelines and help build us up. Um, the big thing about that is, is that regardless of things that get under our skin or that people may say that detour us or that or that really causes harm, we have the potential to walk away from whatever is not serving us. That also keeps us honest with ourselves of, of allowing ourselves to become our best, to own whatever that's not working and either try to resolve it or walk away. That takes a lot of courage. A lot of people sometimes will tell you, oh wow, you're a quitter. No, not everything that you do that you quit means that you're a quitter. It means that you maybe you're moving on because you've learned that lesson or that lesson is no longer of value and you have to let it go. We've all had that our whole life. <laughs> we all have those kind of situations. But we have to keep ourselves honest and true to ourselves and to our maker above. We have to ask for help. We have to, to uh, align ourselves with people that are like-minded and, and quit looking for um, um, <clears throat> approval or, or acceptance where, frankly, it's not even deserved. And that also means we have to keep our on, ourselves honest with why we want to be a part of this group, why we want to be in, in, uh, associated with this person. Um, you know, and, and, and own that. And, you know, 
we've got to be really careful with the company we keep because um, it does have an effect on how we feel about ourselves. And no one is put on this earth to fuel your fire. We have to fuel our own fire with our own tools, our own firewood, our own coal. And, you know, and, and keep ourselves honest about why we're doing the things we do. Give ourselves credit where credit is due. And also own our mistakes and faults. <clears throat> So quit telling yourself these lies, whether they're from other people or other sources or heard it through the grapevine or whatever it may be, and start telling yourself positive affirmations of that you are wonderful, faults and all, that you are destined for great things, that regardless of how your day may look today, you will get through it, that God doesn't give you anything you, you can't handle, doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it or thinks about the situation or your, even their, their opinion of you. Uh, as long as you are honest and true to yourself and to the man above. So that's my thought today. Um, just maybe we need to reel it in and be honest with ourselves and keep ourselves honest about why we do the things we do. And... and uh, be true to, true to our intentions and motives and if they're not if in the things that we do and involve other people if they're not from a place of love and consideration compassion integrity and in and, and building then maybe we don't need to be involved in those kind of connections um, and just pray for those people that aren't so anyway we all have a I think we all have a purpose and we just got to continually find it I'm pray one day I'll find mine but in the meantime it is about us being honest with ourselves and calling our own self out on the things that we're maybe lying to ourselves about and get in line with doing what's right and being the right kind of person and owning our mistakes and asking for answers from above so anyway that's my thought I hope you have a blessed day keep looking up know that wherever you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be whatever it might be and however uncomfortable it's gonna it might be today just keep the faith stay blessed keep it real onward and upward talk at you later